Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friend. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. Well, this week, we're going to take up the second half of Psalm 102. Psalm 102 was a prayer of the afflicted, if you remember that from last week. It's a prayer of the afflicted when he is overwhelmed and pours out his sighing before the Lord. That's the introduction to this particular psalm. Last week we looked at verses 1 through 14. We saw the opening there, the, the my prayer, hear my prayer, O Lord, request. He has several of those here, hide not, incline, answer me speedily. And then we have his trouble outlined. We have the enemy and even the Lord uh, I, I suggested that perhaps this is a prayer of Job, because this is a orphanic psalm. Maybe this is something that Job could have written. I've eaten ashes like bread, mingled my drink with weeping. Because of your indignation and your wrath, those are verses 9 and 10. So we see all the problem, but then we come to verse 12, and we have that golden adversative, the little but right there. But you, O Lord, shall endure forever. So even though I have all this trouble... All my distress, all my affliction, yet I know that that changes not the very person of God. He's not changed by it. He's not moved by it Um, because it's, it's just me. I'm temporary. I'm, you know, I'm transient in this life and I'm flesh. So I'm going to return to dust. But the Lord is eternal. He's lasting. And so the Lord is going to endure. And so when I think about the Lord enduring, I realize that he's going to, keep his promises. He's going to do what he said because he's he's going to last. He does last because he's made these promises. He is not going to back down on his oath or his promise. Remember in the book of Hebrews there in, um, oh, what chapter is that? It says, by two immutable things in which God cannot lie, and the two immutable things are his oath and his promise. And so we, we come to verse 12 and we realize his oath and his promise are sure because you know, he's God. Verse 15 is where we begin today. We're going to read verses 15 and 16. So if you'll allow me, I'll read those for us. So the heathen shall fear the name of the Lord and all the kings of the earth thy glory. When the Lord shall build up Zion, he shall appear in his glory. He will regard the prayer of the destitute and not despise their prayer. So there are three different sections here, 15 and 17, 18 through 20, 21 through 23. Each one contains a a little piece about what the Lord will do, and so, and or what He's done. So, what He will do is right here in this first piece, fifteen through seventeen. He will build up Zion. He will appear in His glory in Zion. He will regard the prayer of the destitute and not despise their prayer. So here we have a promise, and it's a future promise. And, of course, verse 17 reflects the subject in the introduction. You know, hear my prayer, O Lord. You know, don't, don't hide your face. Matter of fact, incline your ear to me. The destitute are praying. Who does this refer to? Well, I'm sure that all of us can say, well, this is me. You know, I, I need this promise. He will, he will regard the prayer of the destitute. There are so many of us that, finds, that find ourselves destitute at times. He will not despise their prayer. What a beautiful promise that is. But also it's a promise for the children of Israel, specifically for them. Generally, I think we can apply it to the church in this age. But I think specifically we're talking about the Jews themselves, all the children of Abraham, they will one day be gathered again to Jerusalem. He will hear the prayer of the destitute. What group on the earth is more destitute. Now, I'm not saying destitute in the sense of that they're poor or they're, you know, they're they're uncared for because the Jews have communities but they're scattered. They're scattered all over the world even though there is a homeland for them in Israel. Yet there are populations of Jews all over the place. Well, one day all of those are going to be brought together. The Lord is going to build up Zion. He will appear in his glory in Zion. That is, the Messiah is going to appear there, and all the house of Israel is going to attend. They're going to reclaim that land for themselves. 
He will regard the prayer of the destitute. And of course, this has been their prayer for so long. Well, join me tomorrow. We'll look at the second thing the Lord did. And uh, we'll see that in verses 18 through 20 here on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out the Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.